Welcome back guys. I have some great news. We have a solution for our battery problem. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we have had lots of electrical problems with our van. It started with uh, our system not being able to hold a charge um, and then it kind of has just progressed to the point where our batteries have failed. So they are not holding a charge. We don't know exactly why. So we did some testing. We found that the batteries are what we think. We think the batteries are bad. A company, Power Queen, reached out to us and offered to send us two lithium 100 amp hour batteries to replace our existing ones. So all they asked was for us to do this video and give an honest review. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you're interested in the whole backstory of how we got here today, I'll put the video right here and you can go give it a watch. So it's six o'clock at night. It's hundred degrees outside and it's sweat rolling down my back. <laughs> all right. First thing right on top, you got all of your nice paperwork and a nice sealed bag. And here's what we got in the box. So we've got the lithium lipo batteries, 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour. So this is the product manual, which runs through the battery management system that's built into the battery. So the manual is pretty nice. They actually do a pretty good job with some good graphics, some pretty clear instructions. So it looks pretty straightforward. So it also comes with this pretty handy quick guide that uh, basically walks through everything that you need. And since our van is really already set up for this, we should be able to just, you know, kind of jump to the end and mount them and install them. <laughs> should. Should. Famous last words. You guys know how Bob is. You know Bob. What should take 10 minutes? Takes? Put it in the comments down below. What do you think? How long do you think this is going to take him? Hi. Here are your post bolts. Tear them off. Okay. So. All right. So here's the post bolts. We need to pull the battery out and get these mounted. Sweet. That looks a lot smaller. Is that okay yes. that it's smaller? Yes. So the first thing I noticed right away is the size difference. This is some newer technology. So they're more efficient and quite a bit smaller, which is nice because they weigh significantly less than this. So I don't know what the weight of this original battery is because it's got this metal bracket, but we'll compare them here in just a few minutes. And it's totally okay that it's that small and it goes in that? Definitely. Okay. Because it's secured with this bracket, Okay. We, we can unbolt this bracket, pull this battery off, and then we'll slide this one in there and put the bracket back on. And especially since they're the same height. So in this bracket, we actually have two like positions that we can mount these rods to secure the battery. And since this battery is much narrower, I'm gonna actually change it to this narrow position to make sure that it's secured nice. Wow. So that's very convenient. You should let them know you're not a professional. Yeah. I am not a professional. Don't listen to Bob. Don't, don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. The last step is we'll put the lugs on. Let's compare. Now I don't have a scale, but I'm going to guess that this new battery configuration is about half the weight of our previous one. So that's pretty good, all things considered. Just to recap, some of you may be wondering about the warranty on these batteries. Yes, they do have a warranty and yes, Reliant will honor it if you're the original purchaser of the battery. But because we purchased the van from La Mesa who basically purchased it from Thor, uh, they won't honor the warranty through me. So I would have to work through La Mesa and through Thor to get this covered. Which we are. Which we are. We do have a, an extended warranty through La Mesa, which hopefully these batteries will be covered, but our appointment is very far out in time. And so in the meantime, this is our fix so that we can use our van. Yeah, and it's not 
we don't want it. <laughs> we made the appointment like a month ago and they said they couldn't get us in until the end of July. So we kind of feel like we're up a creek and this is our only option. I'm impressed at how light these boxes are. So we got everything put together with the bases and everything ready to be installed underneath the van. And as you can see, these are lithium iron phosphate minis. They're 12.8 volts and 100 amp hour batteries. And it's actually quite nice because it's a little bit smaller, it's lighter weight, and they're only about $399. At least that's what we saw online. And they are giving us a discount code. So go to the description box and look for our code. And our code is right here. Also, um, every all the info that you're gonna need, if you want these, will be down below. When we went online and looked up the price, they were listed for $399 a piece. And also, they it's free shipping, and they ship from their California warehouse. Um, at least that's what I found on their website. And it says they ship in one to three days. And when we were emailing back and forth last week, that was the case. We got them within three days. And they say that they have a five-year warranty. So I'll take it. Now back to Bob and the actual installation. Let's see if these actually work for our van. All right, time to crawl underneath and install these batteries. All right, I have to make a quick adjustment. Looks like this side should be red. This side should be black. Yeah, I'm gonna have to quick turn this battery around. So give me a second. Than you thought. Not harder, it's just awkward. Yeah. Okay, so this is where we can make things go zowie. What? I used the jack stand when we did this last time, so I, I used the jack and lifted the battery up. And when you're taking it apart, it's not a big deal, but when you're putting it back together, now things have to be aligned correctly. Oh. And so this is where. You just need something to hold that up. Yeah, I'm using wrenches, which isn't the greatest, but it's what I got. Okay, let me see if I can get this in. No pressure. Okay. Well, that's a good start. I wish I could get under there with you and help you. Is there anything else I can bring you to hold that up? I need a short Phillips screwdriver. We have a really, really short one. Okay. Okay. Put on these caps. And where's the black one? So my thoughts on this first install, it's not really difficult. It's just really awkward. The cables are really like tough and thick. So they're kind of hard to manipulate and then trying to support everything. It's just awkward. It's nice having it a little bit lighter. Uh, so it makes it easier, but it's still just pretty awkward. So let's move on to the one in the back and maybe try and get you a good view. All right. So I'm going to leave that one up there for now. I don't know what goes where. I have a 50 50 chance of getting this right. This is marked battery sensor. I'm like 99% sure that it goes on the hot side. <gasps> but what if it doesn't? No problem. It won't work. 
Okay, no, nothing blows up? No, it's not gonna blow up. I mean, and, and you can't like blow up our inverter? I mean, let's just go with it shouldn't. Oh, you don't have a good track record on this stuff. What? I have a great track record. Really? You what remember you... our Jeep? Don't ever bring that up again. <laughs> Can you get electrocuted? Um. No. no. Tell me no. Uh, nope. Definitely not. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything just, just fine. Jesus, just don't watch. Wisdom. Don't watch. Really? Good. I wish I could just. I wish I had like a pair of hands to hold that right there. I wish I could for you. You could if you wanted to get under here, but you don't want to get under here. Uh, no one said I didn't want to. There's just no room. Okay, stay. That's why you were zip tied down. Screwdriver, check all my. That one's good and tight. All right, so we've got everything now is attached. Just gotta fish these wires all back up here nice and neat and throw this jumbo funness back in here. And then we'll secure these bolts down and put the two in the back, which is, we had to jack it up so we could get to those two. So we should be good to go. All right, let's do this. All right, time to do the test and then lower it down. Okay. Okay. That was a lot of work. Not a lot of work, but it was just really awkward. So now we are ready to test them out. And I, I'm assuming all I should have to do is turn this switch, which will enable our 12 volt system. And then it will give us the battery readout for its capacity. Do you have to charge them up or anything? Well, they should have come pre-charged somewhat. I don't okay. know how much, but that's what we can determine right here. Okay. Okay. It's initializing. I mean, they match. So that's saying 13 volts. That's saying 13 volts. Let's wait for the BM Pro to kick on. That's good news, huh? That it kicked on? Yes. The fact that we've got power and things that are running right now, that is very good because before, even after a couple of minutes, yep. that never would be like that. This would go right to an error. Yep. So this may need to be like reset or reestablished, kind of like what's 100%, but I'm waiting for the BM Pro to kick on. I don't know if these two talk to each other or what. I think it's working, but it doesn't say state of charge. Right. So. Hold on, let me try one thing. Cause those, that actually looks correct. Yeah. So that is saying 12.9 volts is the coach. Yep. And our solar charger is saying that it's 13 volts. So that seems correct. Now I just need to check this. Uh -oh. Yes, Why yes. Is it? No, I think I'm supposed to hold this. So that should turn on now. Yeah, that turned on. So that's giving you our house batteries are at 13 volts. Okay. There's yeah. just no state of charge. And it's saying inverting. Do we need to plug it in to charge it? Yes. So I think what we need to do is plug this in and let it charge overnight and make sure everything's looking good. I mean, I think initially everything looks okay. Yeah. I mean, the fact that lights are on and it's not plugged in or anything. Yeah. So the batteries are clearly working. Everything is working. We do just need to make sure that we, I might have to like reset that our device that we monitor the battery status, but we have literally three ways to monitor it. You can monitor it through the BM Pro, you can monitor it through the inverter, you can monitor it through the solar controller, or you can monitor it from the, basically that's the alternator charging. Yep. So that one device is giving us a different output than the other three, which are exactly the same. So I'm confident that everything is wired correctly, working. It's just a matter of reprogramming that and 
plugging this in and letting it charge overnight to make sure that we're fully charged. So in an upcoming video, we will give you guys an update on how everything is going and how everything's working, the charging, making sure that everything is you know working properly the way it's supposed to. Our initial review, as of right now, very easy to install, nice and lightweight, so it's a little easier maneuver underneath the van when we were mounting everything. It wasn't easy to install. That's true. I wouldn't say just anybody could do it. No, it definitely would be much better if you had two people helping you, one person to support it, one person to make the connections. Yeah. I managed to make it work. So you can do it with one. Or get a, a professionally difficult. done. But definitely could get a professional to do it. Yeah. Um, because it, I think it it's definitely not an easy install. Not an easy install. I mean, I'm not a professional. Don't try this at home. <laughs> From us. I mean, Don't read your instructions. And because at the end of the day, I think one thing that's really important is every van is set up differently. Yes. So some vans, the batteries are going to be inside. Some like ours, the, the batteries will be on the outside. So you really need to be confident and comfortable with your van. And if you're not, you need to find somebody who is, you know, like a dealership or a, a specialist. Yeah. I wanted to thank Power Queen for supplying these batteries and uh, giving us everything that we needed to do today's work. We look forward to getting back in our van and hitting the road and giving you guys a good review of what we think. So until next Wednesday, bye guys. Bye guys.